Hi, I got this Mac OS HFS Plus macOS extended formatted external hard drive that is for whatever reason not allowing me to browse its contents on my MacBook. I've tried it on several Mac computers and it just says loading and that's about it. Now this might indicate that the drive is starting to fail. However, in this case I really needed some files off of this specific drive. So here is what I did to get that sorted. Firstly here there are absolutely zero guarantees that this will work in anyone else's case, but I figured since it actually did work for me, it might do for someone else too. Also, just to be very clear, if you really, really are in need of contents on a drive that you cannot read, please contact a serious company that specializes in data recovery. If the files are really important, the price you have to pay in order to get them back is usually low in comparison to losing the files. Now though, with that out of the way and another warning that I take no responsibility whatsoever for this procedure and that it is 100% on your own decision to keep following from here on. There. To get my files out of this probably soon to be failing hard drive, I actually had to use another computer running Windows. In this case the computer is running Windows 10, but Windows 11 should work just as well. The first thing we here need to do is to of course plug the external drive into our Windows PC using another USB cable like so. Here if the drive pops up on your computer screen and wants to be formatted, you absolutely have to click no. If you format the drive it deletes all data on it. So if any message like this shows up, just click no. Per standard, Windows can't read drives formatted in Apple's macOS extended file format. So we will also need a specific software to help us do this. In this case, it's called HFS Explorer. So we start by opening a browser and navigating to this link, also available in the video description. And then we select to download and to install HFS Explorer, and then we start it. Before we move on to actually using the program though, we also open an explorer window and right click on this PC and then select manage, followed by double clicking on storage and then disk management. In here we can see all the drives currently connected to our computer. We first have our internal disk called a disk 0, another external disk called disk 1 and then a removable USB stick called disk 2. And below that we have our mysterious disk labeled disk 3. Here we actually just wanted to check the name of the disk. Do not do anything else in here since the storage manager is otherwise a great place to ruin data from. Okay, now back in HFS Explorer we select the file menu and then click on load file system from device. Since we already checked that our hard drive has been labeled disk 3, we select that and then partition 0, which basically means the whole drive in this case. We then click on load and press OK with the default alternative selected on select which partition to load and there we have our files. To extract the files we want, all we then have to do is to right click on the folder we like and select extract data followed by specifying a destination on our computer to copy the files to. This can be done both for individual folders or files as well as for the whole hard drive would you like to save everything off of it. All right. That's at least how I got the data I needed off of this probably soon to break hard drive that will now be put to sleep forever. I am sorry if this did not work for you, however it is still quite the bit of a hit and miss. Please share any questions in the comments below though and I'll try my best to help with what I can. Thank you so much for watching, have a nice day, bye!